Hey everyone, it's John, and today we're going to be doing some more network automation, and in this video, we're again going to be looking at Nornir, but this time, we're going to be focusing on simple filtering. Now, if you recall from the previous videos, when we've been deploying our Nornir scripts, we've effectively been targeting all the devices in the topology, because our host file comprises of all those devices. In this video, we're going to be looking at ways to actually drill down and target specific groups of devices or specific devices individually. Now, I was kind of torn about the best way to approach this subject because I really do think it's important to understand the Nornir inventory, specifically its concept of inheritance, but I think it's probably better to start off with this simple filtering video and then the next video I will discuss inheritance and groups and so on and so forth and look at some more complex filters. So that's really the plan for this video, to just do simple filtering and then later on in the series as we gradually increase the complexity, we'll then deal with the inheritance model as well as the more complex filters which give you more granular control over the devices. Okie doke, so that's the plan for this video and let's just go and do it. Okay, so not only has David Barroso created a great tool, he's also got some really, really good documentation. So I think the best way to actually reference Nornir is to go to its official documentation. That makes the most sense. So what we'll do is we'll pull this page up, okay? Now, <clears throat> what I want to do is talk to you a little bit about the host file and then we'll go straight into the filtering. Now, it's important to note the host file is effectively, in essence, a big dictionary, okay? It's got some keys and some values. So for example, here we've got the key username and we've got the value vagrant. Now, Nornir has some Nornir specific attributes. These are keys which Nornir understands inherently and knows what to do with them. Hostname is one, port is one, username, password, platform, and groups, okay? If you give a value to these keys, Nornir knows exactly what to do with them automatically, okay? So if, for example, you give a password, Nornir knows to pass that in as a password when you're having an SSH connection. It's been programmed to do so. However, Let's say you want more granular control and not just to have hostname, port, username, password, platform, and groups. You want to have additional data which is going to effectively act like tags through which you can filter your uh, runbooks. What you do is you create this new key called data. Okay, now everything under the data key is going to be all your arbitrary data. So if you want a identify sites via certain locations, what the role is, if they're a co-router, if they're a distribution switch. You can put all this under the data key, okay? And this is the way the format goes. We've got data here, and then within that, we've got more keys and more values, okay? Now, this is what we're going to do to actually create our filter in this video. Now, the filtering which we're going to do is going to be based purely on location. Very, very simple. It's not the best way to do it, but it's a simple way to help you understand the concepts. So what I'm going to do is quickly just pull up the host file and you'll see I've added this additional data key and under that some more keys with some values through which we can perform our filtering. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just pull this up. If we just get this here and I'll escape that. Right. Sure. Oh, wait there now. Close you down. Okay, that's good. Okay, so what I'll do, actually, you know, I'll just quickly pull up the topology again to describe this. So, like, as you can see here, we've got the same routers we've got before, 10 routers, but I've divided them effectively into three different groups. We've got USA, which comprises of all the routers. We've got the north of the USA, which comprises the top five. We've got the south, which comprises the bottom five. And then we've got individual names for individual places. Okay, so we've got Washington, Montana, Minnesota, Michigan, New York, California, Arizona, Texas, Georgia, and Florida. Now, in the host file, under the data key, I'm creating these new attributes. Okay, so let's have a look at them. So if I just go into Nornia, and I now vim my host.yaml, we're going to see that I've now created, like I say, these are our normally specific ones, hosting platform, username, password, groups, and now for my arbitrary data, I've created this data key, and within that, we've now got country, region, and state. So the country is obviously the USA. Every single device is a member of that country. You can see that if I scroll down, they're all country, USA. Yeah. And just GG at the top again. <laughs> now, 
The top five, routers one through five, are members of the region north. You can see that there, region north, region north, region north. Right down, then we hit router six. It's region south because we're now in the lower tier. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, just GG at the top again. As you can see, I've got an even more specific tag to identify the router, and that is just simply the state. That is individual for each individual device. So the state here for router one is Washington, then the state is Montana, then the state is Minnesota, all the way through down to the very bottom, okay? So what I'm gonna do is just effectively deploy the same type of scripts we did before, but use these tags so we can just deploy the scripts in very targeted areas, okay? <clears throat> now, if I just go back here and just right click, So what I'll do then now is, um, in fact, do you know what, rather than show you the script, I'll show you the topology first and just quickly describe it. So you'll recognise this topology, it's pretty much the exact same topology as the previous video on Nornia, however, the graphic looks a little bit different. Effectively, what we've got is we have grouped all the devices into the USA. The USA is going to comprise of all 10 devices. Now, the USA has been further stratified into two different layers. We've got the north layer and the south layer. The north layer comprises of the first five routers at the top, and the south layer comprises of the bottom five routers at the bottom. They, as you saw earlier, are going to have these values in the host file, and this is how we're going to filter. So effectively, when we filter for the USA, it's really going to act like no filter, to be honest, because it comprises of everyone. But if you imagine in the context of a global scale, if we filtered on, on the USA, it would just target these 10 routers, okay? In this topology, that happens to be all the routers, so it's not really acting like a filter. However, if we filter for just the north and deploy a script, it means that Nornia will only push out the script to the top five devices. Similarly, if we do the same but change the filter to the south, then Nornia will only target the bottom five devices. Now, if we get more specific, and we tell our script to filter for the state New York, we're only going to target router 5 here, the New York one, and leave out all the others. That's effectively what's going to happen, okay? So what I'll do is, I'll just have a wee look here, and we'll actually take a look at the script. So this is going to look really similar to the previous script, and if we just pull it up, you'll see that, like I say, it almost looks identical. We're importing the same type of things, we're telling, we're initializing Nornia with the config file. We have created this function called base config, and the argument is IPv0, and like I say, we're telling uh, Nornia to use this text file called config underscore text file to push out configurations via netmiko send config, and then we're also going to use the netmiko send command to do a show command with to show the banner because effectively this config file is going to have a uh, changes for a banner to be configured okay now the difference here is we've created this variable called targets okay and targets is going to use the nr filter this is something which nornir uses inherently okay when we use nr filter we can simply put within the argument within the brackets what the filter is now you can see here this is the key name okay remember we've got our key under the data and then we've got the value. So effectively what Nornia is going to do is, by putting this NR filter, Nornia is going to shoot through our inventory. It's going to look for this key value, uh, sorry, this key, and look for this value. And if it sees it, it's going to create those devices and put them in the variable targets, okay? Now when we use targets.run, it's only going to run on those targeted devices, okay? And that's going to be our output, the variable results, and then when we print the results, we're effectively only printing uh, what we've targeted, i.e. those filtered devices. And that is effectively it. So in this one, like I say, the country equals USA isn't really a filter because it comprises of all devices, but we'll still run it first, and then as we go on, we'll use a filter on the region level, i.e. like the north and the south, and then use some individual ones, and then we'll do a little bit of a change, okay? So let's go and do that first. So if we actually look at the config text file that the script is referencing, just quickly see that. Config underscore text file. You can see we're just pushing out a simple banner configuration. And like I say, the script is going to target 
everything with the key country in value USA, which in our case is going to target all devices because everyone's got this key country and the value of USA. Every single one, okay? So let's just go and run that. If we just do a Python 3 filter. And let Nornir do its magic. And there we are. So we can see that we've actually deployed it on all devices. Cause like I said, we've effectively not filtered because every device is part of the USA. So that's exactly what we expected. All devices, 1, 10, 2, 3, 4, right down to 9. And if we actually just go to the devices themselves, we'll see that actually there'll be a banner configured on them. So we'll just do an exit and enter. We'll see that automated banner, this device resides in the USA, and that will be true of all devices. Just pick number 9 randomly. See that there? This device resides in the USA. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is change the script a little bit and make the change to attack only the devices in the north sector, okay? So let's go here and what we'll do is if first thing I'll do is I'll change this the actual config text file. Config underscore text file. Just so it represents what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're now in the north of the USA. And like I say, what we're going to do is vim up filter. And we're going to change the key. In fact, do you know what? Let me just double check what we've, what's the format we're using here. We've called that region. Okay, it's region then we're going with. Uh, clear. Clear you. Okay, so vim filter. .py. So we're going to filter on the key region and the value. We've got two values. We can have north or south. We're going to use north. So now what we should do is we should only be targeting the first five devices, the ones one, two, three, four, five up here. So Washington through to New York should now get this new banner. So if we run the script again, Python 3 filter with the new changes on it. We can now see we've only went through 1 through 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and they've now got the banner. This is in the north of the USA, and we'll have a look at that just to confirm it. We'll grab Montana, and just exit that, enter, and you can see this is in the north of the USA, and like I said, the other ones will just have the old banner because they've not been touched. This still, just this resides in the USA, okay? That's true for Florida as well. This resides in the USA, but if we happen to grab Michigan, which is in the top, this is in the north of the USA, okay? So I've effectively targeted that. Now let's just drill down to the individual level, okay? So let's target what we do. We'll pick um, Georgia, which will be Router, uh, router 9, I believe. So if we go into our host file, We'll see the key we're going to use for router 9 is we're going to be targeting state is the key and the value will be Georgia. Okay, so let's just quit that. And if we go into our filter and change, we'll filter on the key state and the value is Georgia. And just to keep our changes, we'll change the actual config underscore text file and just say that this device resides in, oh, insert, good old Georgia. There we go. Let's run the script again and this should only be applied to router 9. There we go. We've just targeted router 9 now. So if we go to router 9, Georgia, we should see the banner on that. Exit, enter. And this device resides in Georgia. Like I say, the rest of them in the south will still have the original. 
this resides in the USA, and the ones at the top will just have the generic ones saying they're in the north of the USA. Okay, so that's that. So that's pretty much the way filtering works. I'm just going to do one little change and then we'll just wrap the video, okay? So I'll just clear this just now. And the last thing which I just kind of want to highlight is that filters are cumulative. So what I'm going to do actually is if we go, in fact, you know what? I'll just describe it here first. What we're going to do is we're going to create another group, another attribute effectively. And we're going to comprise the west coast of the USA. I know really Montana, you can't really say it's west coast, but you'll get what I mean. So the west of the USA, um, we've got Washington, Montana, California, and Arizona. So these, actually put a shape in, make it a little bit easier to see. That to the front. So what we're effectively going to do is we're going to create our west part here which is going to comprise of these four devices okay so let's pop that in there and what we'll do is just edit our we'll edit our thing we host file now we're going to add in something we'll add in the value or the key coast we'll just call it coast okay so like I say just one oh if we do an insert and we do one two three four one two three four and we just add in the value coast and we'll say this is in the west coast and we'll just do the same here for number two we'll do coast west and i think the other ones were six and seven so one two six seven we we'll go down to six And we'll do coast west coast west. Okay, so now if we ran the filter on the coast, what we would do would effectively be targeting um Washington, Montana, California, and Arizona, okay? But what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to run the filter on two values, okay? We're going to use the west value and the north value, okay? So effectively, our target should now just be Washington and Montana, okay? If we ran it just on west, it would comprise of one, two, six, and seven. If we use two filters, we'll filter out west, which is going to remove all these devices on the right-hand side and leave these four. We apply a second filter to that filter on north, which is going to remove California and Arizona and leave nothing but Washington and Montana, okay? So that's what we're going to do just now. So let's go and edit that script. And if we do a Vim filter, and let's just change this to, okay, so we'll do region. We're going to filter on the north, okay? So that's going to take out all the southern states. We'll put a comma in. And we'll also filter on coast equals on the west. So effectively, we're filtering for northwest now. So we've got just Washington and Montana. And if we just, um, we'll change the text file, underscore text file. Just say is in the north west. So now this filter is applying on two different values, and we're just going to be targeting these two then. So let's go and do that. So Python 3 filter py, and we should just get one and two. And there we are, we've now filtered on nothing but one and two, because like I say, filters are cumulative. Effectively, when we filtered on the north, we removed the south. When we filtered on the west, we uh, removed everything else. So effectively, we just targeted these two devices, okay? So that's pretty much the end of this video. It's just an introduction to simple filtering. The next time we visit filtering, we'll be looking at the inventory a little bit more closely. In particular, we'll be looking at um, inheritance, and we'll also be looking at the advanced filtering features which non offers. So that's pretty much it. Um, 
that's the end of the video. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.